Okay, it's time for my updates. I watched Dr. Mike's new podcast episode about the girl that got the flesh eating bacteria from like vitamin B12 injections. It was a good episode. Interesting. Go watch it. All of Dr. Mike's podcast episodes are incredible. I love Dr. Mike. He is doing the world um, and America a huge service. So, okay, let me stop kissing his ass. I texted a plumber because I put the phone number in my messaging, my message app, and it came up blue, which means that they have iMessage. So I was like, okay, easy, just text. I don't like phone calls anyway, it makes me nervous. So I did this very, um, well written, I believe, well organized text message. And then I got a phone call and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm just gonna let it go to voicemail. And I went to voicemail and she was like, um, I don't make appointments over text, so you have to call. And I'm like, mm, I don't want to. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm not a very good homemaker housewife if I can't make phone calls, I guess. Some days I'm like in the mood to just like, let's get it done. I don't care about looking stupid, whatever. And then there are other days like today that I am very frightened and uncomfy, anxious, I guess. I don't know, and I don't know what the difference is. I didn't need to take on medicine though, so I'm gonna do that. This lighting is just so nice. I look beautiful. Joking, but, but look at my freckles, they're popping. <laughs> I don't think I've already talked about the coffee table. Let me show you the coffee table. It's very pretty and I like it a lot. Let me turn you around. So this is our coffee table. Excuse my dishes. I'll take those to the kitchen. But it's gold resin handmade coffee table thing. Obviously like over top it's sealed with clear resin. This farm was out in the boonies in the middle of nowhere pretty much and I know that at least a Scottish man lives there because it's his Facebook profile that I was talking to somebody. But the woman I think is who, his wife is who makes these things and I think that she's British. I did not know that until we got there. She's the one who makes these. And we did have to drive like a little, about an hour to get there, but it was a pleasant drive. Jared and I made a day of it. The original legs were like, were these legs, but in um, like a gray silver and I wanted them black. So she changed them out for me with no added cost. And since they're on a farm, they had a sign that said like farm fresh eggs, $3. And so I was like, you got any eggs? And they did, they had a dozen and she didn't charge me for those. So hello, I'm in the car again. I'm stopping at a red light. So I think the last that I talked to you, uh, I was talking about the table that we got, the kitchen, or the coffee table that we got that that nice European lady made. <laughs> and then my phone died. So I don't even know what I was saying. I think that I was probably saying that I think that they have plenty of money because she was able to sell her stuff so cheap or whatever. Anyways, stuff has happened since then. Jared came home early. Um, I missed his phone call to tell me that he was on his way home. So that was a nice surprise for me. I played a game of Fortnite. I came in second infuriating but still proud of myself i'm not gonna lie i have tilapia thawing in the fridge for tilapia and rice tonight we had it last night delicious gonna make it again tonight i went to the grocery and picked up stuff for our groceries for this week i have bananas that are too i i don't like bananas to have any brown on them at all so they are starting to get brown and that is too brown for me so i'm gonna save them and make this banana bread that jared loves it's just banana bread but there's a cinnamon swirl throughout it that's really good it's basically like the swirl is just butter sugar and like brown sugar <laughs> so of course that's delicious uh he likes it a lot more than i do actually there are in my opinion better banana bread recipes but he loves it so that's totally fine with me i'm gonna make it probably later this week or this weekend whenever they're like really ripe. You know what I mean? Because you have to mash bananas for banana bread. And I feel like the longer that you wait, like the sweeter that they're gonna be. I did get up the courage to call 
the plumber. But they didn't answer. So, yeah, I'm, I'm done <laughs> trying to do that on my own. I'm going to have Jared help me, I think. <sighs> Jared, um, I think, is going to go to T-Mobile because we're paying $200 a month for two lines. Like, their basic plan. The price has gone up, I think. I don't understand. Jared wanted to go do that today or tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to be in Lexington at the old house because the moving company that we hired actually also does like a bulk trash pickup. They're coming over early tomorrow morning to get all of the furniture that we left there that we don't want anymore. And I'm going to try my hardest to finish up cleaning that entire place because our land lady or ex land lady, because now we own a house, texted me the other day and said that the new lease was in the mail. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I don't think we, I don't think we have a new lease. Okay, I'm home. I'm gonna have Jared help me put these groceries in the kitchen. I see him. He's so cute. Starving. That doesn't help. 
my baby hangry. I'm a little hangry. <laughs> you didn't even. <laughs> well, baby, there's nothing I can do. It's stuck under this one. We just need to bring them out. How can we do this and we not do that? Let me think. Hey, why don't I try lifting and you try scooting? And obviously we can adjust you know keep moving it around bit. okay like it's gonna want to come this way yeah do you want me to lift and you push again yep do you want me to lift that over there nope this will obviously it'll lay down, lay time, down yeah. time but i like it i too do you think it's okay that it doesn't go underneath that one? Do you want it to a little bit? I just wish that it would just tuck right under there. Lift it that one. The far one? Yep. There. You love it? Mm -hmm. That's great. Whew. I like it. You do? You like yeah. the position too? I think so. For now? Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I really don't want to move it anymore. Okay. Um, unless you absolutely... No. Oh, I like this. Me too. This is nice. Yeah. It's only a little bit of rug, but. It breaks up the space. Like this is our living area. This is the, yeah. You know? okay. okay. This is where we relax. Work. Hey, we didn't have to pull them all out. You're right, we didn't. Where is this T-Mobile? Okay, yeah, hop on to, well, no, we don't. Hey. Hey. You okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna be like, hey, look. We're paying too much. I need to talk to you all about this. Do you wanna light this? I do, but I don't have a lighter. I threw away all my lighters. I threw away all Wait, mine. not the blue one, not the blue grill one. Throw that away. It's in the... Where? My... Yeah, uh, no, it's in the um, junk drawer. I don't think we got all the stuff in the dumpster. You grabbed the the batteries. The important, you grabbed the important stuff. I grabbed the batteries and the uh, stuff under. Chasing butterflies? I know. Hello, puppies. What do you guys think? See, but if you're not in trouble, you're not getting back. Nothing was happening to me. You want me to get just still scared? Uh, it's got like a decent amount of... Um, <laughs> it's up to you. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I love it. I love it. Thank you for putting the work with me, baby. Of course. I saw our mailman pick up that uh, new residence paper thing, pamphlet. I thing. thought that it was out of the mailbox when I grabbed the mail. I watched him. He almost picked it up and he was like, what is this? Is what he looked like. Wow, I must have looked like an idiot. Yeah, I did. And then I opened the window and I was like, that's the thing that you left in here yesterday. And he was like, um, oh, oh yeah, that thing, that thing. And I said, are you having a mailman? And he said, oh, I gotta go. That wasn't a mailman. <laughs> are you leaving again? Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I got her. I love you. Be safe. I love you. Okay, and that is our new living room setup. Ignore that stuff. It's we're working on it slowly but surely. This is the first room that we've like 
done something with. Let me, okay, wait, I wanna show you the whole thing, so I don't think I should do the mantle. Obviously, I dip the dictionary on the corner to try to get it to lay down. Um, the rug, kind of like I was talking about a dog, but I wasn't, I was talking about the rug. And I have plans, we have plans. Jared and I, I think have decided on a print to hang above the fireplace. And I think I'm gonna use some wallpaper for an accent wall. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so this is from where we walk in. 